Howdy friends, Tadis here with Insomniac Next Door. It's been about one month after my uh, amalgam removals and I'm happy to report all my problems just melted away. I'm sleeping like a baby. The fatigue has evaporated like a morning dew. And I'm happy and smiling and working all day long, working, on the, working out on the evenings. I mean in the evenings and the weekends. I'm skiing and surfing and um, yeah, none of that, none. It's been <laughs> very little change. There was one little change and uh, I'm not still sure whether it's due to amalgam removal or the supplement that I'm taking. I'll tell you in a moment. Anyway, it's been one month and uh, this video is to share with you some results, uh, lessons and uh, some planning that I'm doing for the near future. So how do they choose a dentist here? In Lithuania there are no biological dentists. Nobody's even like heard of the term biological. You know? Anyway, so uh, the way if I, I called around a few places and said, how are you removing amalgams? And if they said, well, you know, standard way, man. You just drill the stuff out and, you know, you're ready to go. So, you know, I always said, well, cheers, goodbye. Uh, you know, and so anyways, I called a few places and the one that I... Uh, realized that, I, uh, that, that I'm going to use is the one that my baby daughter saw and uh, he happens to be just a very very attentive guy this dentist and he said yeah whatever you need you know if you need like this dental dam no problem if you need this ventilation no problem if you need me to take it out in chunks no problem you know so he did that and he was very very thorough very very gentle very uh, attentive you know to, to my needs and I liked working with the guy so um, it doesn't surprise me, right? If if they're good with kids, then they will be sort of listening to what your needs are, and and uh, kind of makes sense, made sense afterwards. So, anyways, the the re removal itself went fine. He did take it out in uh, pieces because that's that was my biggest uh, request, uh, and he said he he knew how to do it because you don't want to drill. You know, we want to drill, minimize the drilling as much as you can, so you don't breathe extra stuff. And, uh, I, you know, I read him the biological dentist sort of guide to the universe as far as how to remove the amalgam safely. He was willing to follow it. The only thing I didn't have was the, uh, you know, the independent breathing, uh, like, source. So I put, like, they put, like, a just really stupid, silly surgeon mask. Of, you know, it didn't do a thing. But anyways, I, I had my goggles and everything. Long story short. Uh, it, they're gone, and I did it in about. I did two every every week or so. You know, there are some books like they say this shouldn't be doing every seven days because this is your immune cycle. So you want to be doing like shorter than a week or longer than a week. Anyways, I did it somewhere shorter, longer, somewhere week intervals. I did fine. I didn't do any of those uh, measuring the, the 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 polarity of the amalgams. You know going from the highest to the lowest, I didn't do any of that. Um, not sure if, if I needed to, uh, my guy didn't even know what I'm talking about, you know. So the, the one thing I did feel after every procedure was just really run down and beat up, like for two days it was terrible. And uh, I figured maybe it was some sort of uh, immune reaction or sensitivity most likely uh, to ingredients in Novocaine. And that is still very powerful stuff and for somebody kind of run down with adrenal fatigue and uh, you know, insane food sensitivities, is, you know, Novocaine is, 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 is a serious drug. So one uh, happy uh, news to report that I have no teeth sensitivity. In fact, they all feel like natural, you know, now there is no problem. I read many people online suffering, uh, complaining about long-term teeth sensitivity and they go through this long remineralization process. So I didn't need to do that, thank goodness. They were fine. He checked. He he he, he did the X-rays before, the X-rays afterwards. Uh, there is no specs left. Uh, I'm good to go. Uh, so once you know, and then of course I I, I read um, um, uh, amalgam illness by uh, Andrew Cutler, and of course I jumped right away on the core four supplements, which I just needed to add. Um, um, zinc. I was already taking uh, magnesium, vitamin C. Uh, and I, I added zinc and I also added selenium and as soon as I added those right after removal even the first two amalgams 
I started feeling warmer in the evening and at bedtime and at night. Those, those chills that were coming from my thyroid were gone or at least reduced by like 80%. I was just, that was just such a good feeling and finally I wasn't, I wasn't experiencing those chills. And, uh, I, you know, like if I was more scientific, I would, st I would stop zinc because it's a major thyroid apparently supplement. I didn't know that. Selenium is, but I, I, you know, I took it before, but I didn't think it made any difference. So I think it's either zinc or a combination of removing the, uh, the amalgams because they're also connected uh, to your uh, meridians. Like every tooth has a meridian, an energy channel that runs down your organs. And it, you know, if you mess with that tooth or if there's hidden inflammation, you're actually affecting uh, your body in a big way. You know, you're stimulating your immune system. You know, it has to deal with inflammation constantly. Anyways, it's a big mess. There's, that's a whole different uh, sort of story. You need to Google it if you if you suspect any teeth issues, right? So uh, now is there is I'm planning to chelate, which uh, would uh, according to Andrew Cutler method, because that that, was, that one seems like the most sustainable, safe way to go. I've definitely made mistakes with uh, chlorella and uh, and uh, cilantro before. I felt awful. Mainly just very very stimulated. If, if anything hits my insomnia, they're gonna they're gonna do it. You know those supplements will. So that's what I'm starting. Uh, one little thing left to do. I also have a crown. I need to lift that crown, and it's gonna be a, a stupid, a, a crazy, ex you know, expensive experiment. But I need to make sure there's no amalgams left before you chelate. Otherwise, you're gonna start pulling mercury out of uh, out of your you know, teeth if there's if there's an amalgam hidden under the crown. So you want to make sure those are gone. So that's what I'm doing. I'm also started this goo syndrome, uh, with, uh, goo syndrome protocol with Chinese herbs. So I'm going to do those things simultaneously. There's probably uh, mercury really, really affects apparently your immune system, really suppresses it and messes up your entire digestion system, let alone the insomnia also does that, right? You're, you're you become like a, a perfect host for all sorts of pathogens and fungus infections and stuff like that because your immune system is not coping with it. So you just, or, or some say the candida actually appears to, uh, in, in order to deal with uh, mercury, uh, it absorbs mercury or something like that. There's a whole science behind this. But that's about it. That's what I'm doing. If you have any comments or you're going through the same thing, always welcome to uh, read your comments. I always respond to them. They're very interesting to me. So feel free to do it, and uh, I hope you're doing well, you're sleeping more or less. If not, someday we will be hanging there. Uh, I'll be in touch and report to you how, what I'm going through, if you care, uh, later on. So take care.